When we started icing a year ago, we knew that we wanted to have a fund for new works, new choral works. Both Jenna and I uh, think it's really important to reach out to the community of composers uh, who are out in the world and in the United States and commission pieces from them and bring new music not only to us as a choir but to the choral world uh, as a whole. And that it's really important for young singers to have music written for them. When Sheen and I decided to write a piece that was about a dreamy, snowy landscape, I said I knew that I had the perfect composer in mind. This year, we also reserved funds to commission Daniel Elder, who is making choral music right now. When the girls first heard this piece and we read through the first verse, they were hooked right away and that's what you want from a piece you want them to want to turn that next page and to spend three months you know working intensely on a piece of music and that happened for them when they read the first page of crystal sky It's an absolutely gorgeous piece. Just from the outset, you hear this harp playing and these beautiful arpeggios, and it's a beautiful melody that's not quite like anything I've heard before, but it does sound like a crystal sky, like snowflakes dancing in the air. It's really, it's more of a slow piece, and it really rings through the room, and you just kind of are like taken over by the music, and you feel like you're in it and you're there. My favorite part would probably be I really like it because it gives this sort of feeling, it kind of blossoms towards the end and it makes the singers and the audience feel really good. I feel like the composer composed this piece to be similar to a lullaby, so um, the lightness of the song like puts people at peace, puts me at peace at least. <laughs> the rhythm is very flowy in this piece, so um, it's really smooth from phrase to phrase and it kind of makes you feel calm and it's very beautiful. Commissioning a new piece is not only an exciting process, but it's a little bit nerve-wracking because you are giving your ideas to the composer of what you kind of want it to be, but at that point, you have no control. And so it's a little bit of a, an exciting journey to see what the composer comes up with at the end. It's like opening a book for the first time. You don't know what's coming next from page to page, and there's no reference. So there are no recordings to guide you in the learning process. It's you and it's the notes on the page and it's your job to interpret to the composer's wishes and to the best you know, artistic capabilities of your ensemble. And that is a magical thing. One of the nice things too about a commission piece as an icing parent is to watch the girls from when they first get this piece of music and they're learning it to when they become proficient with it to when they're able to take it and really make it uniquely their own. To take that piece and take it out into the world premiere and as I sit in the audience and watch them, I can just see the girls light up as they bring this new creation to life. No one else has done Crystal Sky before and it's really cool because like, you can't look it up on YouTube and just go see how other people sing it. You sing it how you feel it should sound like. No matter whether the music's new, old, commissioned, not commissioned, it's an amazing opportunity to perform any piece. But when it is commissioned, when it's specifically written for your choir, it's extremely special because you know it's just for you. And you get to be the first choir to try and interpret this music. You get to be the first one to leave your mark on it that other people will try to recreate. And I think that's just a really amazing opportunity. Because we're in Silicon Valley, we're in a place where something new is created every day. And this community gets that. We embrace the new. And I Sing does that with our commission pieces. We are dedicated to new art and our vibrant community really supports this effort. I'm really thankful for all the wonderful, talented people I get to sing with every Thursday. And I hope that we will continue to do awesome things like this in the future.